The Batman starts with Mayor Don Mitchell getting murdered in his own home. Batman slowly walks around the crime scene where he finds something in the way, the Gotham City Police Department. There's a letter waiting for him containing a cipher. Lieutenant Jim Gordon looks like he's constantly staring at the sun and welcomes the Bat, but Commissioner Savage isn't so fond of him and forces him to leave. Batman returns to his butler, Alfred Pennyworth, who helps him to decipher the cipher. Following the clue, he investigates Mitchell's car, where he finds a flash drive. It contains footage of Commissioner Mitchell with a mystery woman outside of the Iceberg Lounge. Batman fights his way inside to get a hold of its owner, Oswald Cobblepot, better known as Penguin. He learns nothing from him, but the waitress Selina Kyle is awfully interested so he follows her home in a non-creepy way. Turns out she's roommates with the mystery woman. She heads out as Catwoman and makes her way inside Mitchell's home and cracks open a safe containing a passport and a reminder to subscribe and turn on the bell for more DC content. Batman intervenes and they get into a little fight. The passport belongs to her roommate Annika who wants to get out of Gotham. They return to her apartment with questions for Annika, but it's been ransacked and she's missing. On her TV, Commissioner Savage was just murdered by the serial killer calling himself Riddler. She also tells him the Iceberg Lounge is a cover for the 44 Below, the real club where mobsters hang out. Selina decides to work with Batman and enters the 44 Below. She runs into District Attorney Gil Coulson and finds out a handful of people, including himself, are under Falcone's payroll. He reveals they have a rat who helped to take down Salvatore Moroni in one of the biggest drug busts. She then bumps into the man himself, Carmine Falcone. Batman asks about her relationship with him but she cuts him off. Riddler kidnaps Coulson as he leaves and straps a bomb onto him, sending him crashing into Mitchell's funeral the next day. Coulson pulls out yet another letter for Batman and Riddler has him answer a few riddles. But fearing what might happen to his family, he refuses to name the rat who helped to take down Moroni and pays the ultimate price. Batman wakes up in the GCPD without a scratch, and luckily nobody tried to pull off his mask while he was unconscious. He punches Gordon and escapes to meet up with them moments later, and they conclude Penguin is probably the informant. They track him down only to discover that Falcone has taken over Moroni's drug operations, but suddenly, Catwoman shows up and scares away Penguin. She finds Annika's head in the trunk, while Batman chases him down in the Batmobile. They realize not only are they bad at Spanish, they have the wrong guy. After some more detective work, they determine Riddler was once an orphan at the Gotham Orphanage ran by the Wayne family. He holds a grudge against Thomas Wayne, so Bruce might be the next target. At the mansion, Alfred opens the letter and it explodes, sending him to the hospital. The Bat and the Cat meet briefly, and Selina confesses that Falcone is her father. Riddler then leaks information explaining that Thomas hired Falcone to kill a journalist, who was going to expose his wife Martha's history of mental health issues, which would have given him negative publicity towards his mayoral campaign. Bruce visits Falcone, who confirms this, and adds that Moroni was the one who had his parents killed, in fear that a Wayne and Falcone team up would be too much for him to handle. He then stops by the hospital to see Alfred and hears his side of the story. He informs Bruce that when his father found out what Falcone had done, he was going to turn them both in, and that's when Falcone presumably had him killed to prevent it. Catwoman finds the dirty cop Kenzie and summons the both of them. Through him, they learn that Falcone was a rat and Moroni's takedown was a lie so that he could acquire his drug operations. And a recording proves Falcone murdered Annika to tie up loose ends after he found out that Mitchell revealed to her the identity of the rat. With that, Selina runs off to get revenge on Falcone, and Batman chases after to stop her. In the end, they manage to arrest Falcone, but he's assassinated by Riddler. They track him to a nearby diner where he gives himself up and is taken to Arkham. Batman finally meets face to face with Riddler. After a brief conversation, Batman suddenly rushes back to Riddler's apartment and figures out he's going to flood the city and kill the new mayor with a cult of followers. But the flooding already happened and everyone funnels into the venue. Batman makes an explosive entrance but forgot to pack his bulletproof armor and he gets blasted, but he's perfectly fine and manages to beat up the Riddler wannabes, leading everybody to safety. Penguin assumes control of Falcone's operations, Riddler is put next to a funny inmate, and Selina asks Batman to leave Gotham with her, but she already knows his answer. If you enjoyed this, please check out my channel for more DC content.